Hello! In this video, we will explain the configuration process of seven sensors in SMA Data Logger, which is Data Manager M. First of all, we need to connect the Iridian sensor and the externally connected sensors. Before making the connections, let's get to know our sensors. Our product set consists of the main sensor, which is the Iridian sensor, and the externally connectable sensors, which are the ambient temperature sensor, the module temperature sensor, the wind speed sensor, and the relative humidity sensor. Connectors that connect external sensors have different pin numbers. Therefore, there is no chance of making a wrong connection. By following the pin numbers, we connect the external sensors one by one to the Iridian sensor box. After the connection of the external sensors is completed, a 3-meter cable is used for communication and power supply of the Iridian sensor. Brown, white, yellow, and green wires at the end of the cable are connected to the power supply and the data logger. Brown wire is connected to power supply plus, and the white wire is connected to power supply minus. Seven sensors work with 12 to 30 volt DC and the recommended voltage value is 24 volt DC. The green and yellow wires are connected to pins 1 and 4 of the RS485 port of the SMA data logger. The green wire is connected to input 1 and the yellow wire is connected to input 2. In case more than one device is connected to the same port, the device's IDs must be different while the baud and parity values must be the same. When you want to change the sensor ID, you can change it by using the 7 sensor configuration tool. After the cable connection of the data logger and the sensor is completed, the sensor must be added to the data logger. You have to use an internet browser interface for this process. To connect to the data logger interface, the data logger is connected to the local network and the computer is connected to the SMA data logger via Wi-Fi. The internet browser is opened on the computer. The IP address of the data logger is typed into the search bar of the internet browser. If you don't know the IP address of the data logger, you must find out of the person who installed the data logger. After the configuration interface page is opened, the username and password are entered. Click on the device administration section in the configuration menu on the screen that appears. Click on the plus icon on the right of the page. Once the device registration screen appears, Modbus Devices option is checked, and then click on Continue. In the Modbus Devices screen, the interface section is selected as COM1 RS485 Modbus R2. And to create a new Modbus profile, click Managing Modbus Profiles and then Create a new Modbus profile. The boxes on the screen that appears are filled as follows. Name of Modbus profile, 7 sensor. Device manufacturer, 7 sensor solution. Model designation, 3S-IS. Device type, sensor system in general. Mapping template, monitoring. And for byte sequence, big endian. In the lower section of this page, you can proceed the configuration of the sensors. In the installation section, the registration address of the Iridius data is 5. The registration address of ambient temperature data in temperature 1 section is 17. Registration address of module temperature data in temperature 2 section is 16. Registration address of wind speed data in the speed section is 3. The relative humidity registration address is entered as 18 in the person section. After the registration addresses are entered correctly, the register type section is selected as UINT16 for 
radiance, wind speed, and relative humidity sensors, and INT16 for temperature sensors. In the section specified as function code, the option 0x04 read input registers is selected. In the section specified as scaling factor, the coefficient selection process must be done correctly. The gain coefficient of the data whose registration address is entered is selected as 0.1. And finally, click on the Save button to go to the device registration screen. On the screen that appears, we need to select the COM and connection types. Enter 7 sensor in Modbus profile, 9600 in baud rate, and the sensor ID number in device address. Fill in device name section and click continue to go to the next page. On this page, the Modbus device is selected and the device name is entered along with the serial number and the save button is clicked. After all this is done, click on the Modbus section from the select device section at the top and then click on the instantaneous value section on the monitoring item to view the meteorologic data. Thank you for watching.